Hi, everybody. Hello, teacher. Good evening, hello, hello. everybody. How are you doing? Um, Very good. How is your Tuesday going? Everything good, guys? Everything fine? Everything fine. Yeah. How is raining in your house? Are you hearing raining? Yes, I'm raining. Okay. En el paraíso. De Osorio, yes. Wow. Ah, wow. Pero esto tranquilo, or like, se escucha un poquito fuerte, ¿no? No se queda tan bien. Hi, everybody. My house is uh, reading a cat and dog, you said. Wow, it's raining cats and dogs. Yes, it's... Pero ya yes. llegó a su casa? Are you home already? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm glad. Igual, yo creo que... Eh, Deme un segundito. Deme one second. So, yes, I know. Sé que está lloviendo bastante fuerte. Creo que también escuchan la lluvia por acá. But eh, vamos a hacer lo mejor que podamos. We are going to do it the best we can. Gracias a todos por estar acá súper eh, tempranito, you know, de conectarse siempre. And uh, yeah, let's try to get the best. Hi, Pedrina. How are you? Gracias, Natalie, por conectarse. Pedrina, eh, ¿cómo está su audio? ¿Está mejor ahora? Are we good? ¿Me escucha? Yes. Ok, wonderful, wonderful. Jackie, hello. Pedrina, sí, ya le escuché. Sí, también. se escucha, se escucha. Ajá. Nice. Sí, ya le escucha también. Ayer no le escuché. Sí. No, es que ayer estaba feo. Ok, no, but I'm glad. Me alegra que ahora sí. We can listen to you. Eh, veo también a Pedrina, I mean, I see Jackie, eh, Norbert, ya, yo sé que está lloviendo, but thank you so much. Richard, I know you're there. Moses, Anthony, hi. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Present, teacher. How are you? Hello. Oh, I'm doing just fine. Oh, what about oh, you? How are you? Are you? Are you in the country? Are you back? Yes, I regreso. Yes, teacher. Hey, nice. When did you come back? Para Thank you. Promise. Ayer. Wow. Ayer en la tarde. Wow. Ha sido bien ocupado, I guess. <laughs> it has been really hard. Pero teacher, gracias. está lloviendo muy fuerte, casi me escucho. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. No se preocupe. I know you're there. Yeah, I know, yo sé que está lloviendo en, bueno, creo que donde estoy aquí también acá. <laughs> It's like both ways. But, eh, try to do our best. Chicos, sí. me ayuden con la asistencia, please help me out with your cameras for some seconds. Creo que calma todo ratito. Okay, so let me go and take attendance. Uh, Anita, no sé si Anita ya está por acá. And uh, Brenda, sí, ya le escuché. I know it's raining. Thanks a lot. Uh, Brian. Hola, buenas noches. Hello, Brian. Hi. Wow, I heard your voice different today. <laughs> I don't see it. I am. Oh, that's why. Se escucha como bien deep, bien ronquita. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Gracias por, por conectarse. I know. Carlos. Hi, Carlos. Good evening. Hello, good evening. 
How are you doing, Carlos? Everything good? Everything good today. Nice. Glad to hear that. Uh, Guadalupe, Lupita. Hello, bye. Uh, Natalie, Natalie too. Let me hear. Good evening. Thank you so much. Gracias. How are you? Are you working? Are you home? Today, not. Oh, so that's good. So you're resting already. Okay. Glad to hear that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Hi, teacher. How are you? ¿Cómo está todo por allá, Miss? Ahorita todo tranquilo, teacher. Ah, ¿qué? Todavía no está <laughs> lloviendo. <laughs> yeah, because normally esa zona es como más afectada, but I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bye, so we're going to have you 100% here. I'm glad. Me alegra, Miss. Uh, Jocelyn. Hi, Jocelyn. Todavía no. Uh, Ignacio. I don't see Nasser either. Norbert, yeah, Norbert is fine. Norbert you. from El Paraíso. <laughs> Thank you, Norbert. Uh, Marvin, Marvins, uh, Clary, Clary, Clary. No, no, a Clary todavía. Uh, Moses, a uh, Moses, sí. Hi, Moses. Good evening, how you doing? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad you're fine. Pedrina, Pedrina, si está ahí. Hello, present Pedrina. Present teacher, present teacher. Thank you very much. <laughs> the name? <laughs> Richard. Present, present. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Rene. Present uh, teacher. Thank you, Richard. Sandrita. De por ahí, Sandrita. Hello, Miss. Por estar con nosotros. Hi Mabel, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Glad, glad to hear that. And uh, Ingrid, uh, gracias Miss por su mensaje. Lo acabo de leer. Thank you so much for that. Okay. So thanks everybody. Uh, already. So gracias a todos por estar con nosotros. Um, I know that a veces el clima no ayuda mucho, but vamos a aprovechar you know, la clase lo mejor que podamos, con las condiciones que podamos, and los recursos que tengamos. Al final, that is the, the purpose of it. So let me present uh, my screen so we can look at uh, the things that we have for today. One second, one second. Sorry, give me just a minute, guys. Sorry. Okay, so uh, today we have session number seven. And the uh, first, veamos un poquito de lo que revisamos ayer. Yesterday, vimos un par de lugares in a town, como los nombres de eh, lo que podemos encontrar en un pueblo. Sin ver el cuaderno, without looking at your notebook, without checking, without opening it, uh, opening your notebook, tell me qué lugares se recuerdan. What do you remember from yesterday? What did we check? Teacher, eh, restaurantes. Restaurant, ajá, uh -huh. ¿qué más? What else? Prison. 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 Okay, restaurant, prison. Church. Church, exactly. Museum. Prison. Museum, very good. What about major? ¿Cómo se le llama donde está el alcalde? What is the name of the place where you can City find Mall. the major? City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. City Hall. Recuérdense de los halls. <laughs> like the candy. <laughs> City Hall, exactly, exactly. Any other uh, thing? Oh, they, what about? They, yes, Richard? They are... Day is Russia. Oh, there is and there are. Yes, we check the part of the reason there are. Very good. Teacher, department store. Department store, exactly. Department store, like 
Simana, I remember you mentioned some city halls. Yes, very, very good. Oh, para lupes en camino. Okay. Un día solamente. Okay. Sorry. Yes, so today vamos a continuar. We are going to continue with this topic. But to get us started, eh, I want you to take a look at this. Tell me, ayúdenme con la picture. ¿Qué ven? What do you see in this picture? Can you describe the objects that you can see? Laptop. 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 Mouse. Mouse. Right here, Tablet. 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 Okay. Desktop. What else? Imagine. The plants. Plants, okay. Lamp. 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 Water. Cactus. Lamp. A bottle, okay. Oh, I Lamp. have a question for you. Uh, we have a laptop. Yeah, we have it's a computer. A laptop. But, pero también si se fijan, hay como un teclado. How do you say teclado? A skateboard. Skateboard, perfect, exactly. So you see the, the, the screen and also you see the keyboard and then you see the laptop, right? So very good, very good job. Let's take a look then at the following vocabulary we have for you. So tenemos algunos items of work que vamos a utilizar. For example, we have the keyboard, that's number one, el teclado, right? Do you have a separate keyboard? Utilizan un teclado adicional? Do you, okay, I see Carlos saying yes, okay. Do you prefer to, to or, or sometimes, los que son accountants, eh, gracias Jocelyn, no worries, ya la veo por acá, thank you. Hi Ignacio, good evening, gracias por entrar y por estar con nosotros. So, um, normally cuando son accountants eh, o trabajan con números, I know that tienen un tecladito pequeño solo de números, right? Like a numeric keyboard. So I think that they work, probably it works. Uh, we have form, the copy machine, right? Or la fotocopiadora, a fax machine, um, cabinet, right? Uh, we have artwork. Do you have artwork? Do you have like a piece of art in your, in your office or in your spot now? No art, no pictures, no paintings, o un cuadrito, you know, impreso, something, anything, no? All right. Um, then we have like fake plants. Uh, can anybody help me? Can me ayuda con fake, fake plants? What is this? Plantas artificiales. Plantas artificiales. Exactly, or plantas de mentiras, que le llamamos. <laughs> so fake plant is like, like, like this, right? Like any ornament that we can use eh, para poner un lugar bien bonito. So that's a fake plant. Do you have fake plants or fake flowers in your place? No, nothing. Nothing really plain, okay. So we have a water cooler. Do you have a water cooler? Or, well, for the general, las empresas la dan, right? So they have like, like a little machine for water, so you can go and get cool water. So water cooler, a cubicle. Do you have an office or a cubicle? A cubicle is como más pequeñito, right? Like a spot, office. an office, okay. What about the rest? Do you have an like office an office, feature. a cubicle, okay. So an office is a little bit more grand, right? Yeah. Yes? Water cooler is um, it's like an oasis. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. So you have one. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, that's the water cooler. So um, we have a cubicle is como bien pequeño, so then it's faster, right? Then we have a receptionist, que también está, like, is part of the office. A briefcase. Creo que ya no se usan. I don't know. I have not seen, but can you tell me? Do you have a briefcase? O han visto alguien? Have you ever seen someone with a briefcase? Como con un maletincito. 
Do you have a briefcase? Como, como la lonchera. Briefcase to... No, para documentos. Carlos? Ah, car carta pase. No. Carta pase. Pero briefcase. Portafolio. <laughs> Ah, pero es como más, más old school, de la vieja escuela, you know. The ah, big one oh, que se abría. Vendedora de medicina. <laughs> uh, Carlos, I'm sorry, I, I, I couldn't finish the idea, tell me. Uh, many people use the briefcase to, uh, to put the, the laptop. What? The laptop. Oh. Really? Like in a briefcase? Oh, okay. Because I have it in a backpack. So I have my laptop, eh, como una mochilita. I have it in a backpack, but th that could work. That could be. So un briefcase is like como un maletincito, right? Normally people have eh, documents on it. And then un briefcase? Do you have a, brief with, a briefcase with you? Or a backpack? No? Oh. Oh. Nothing? No. Me backpack. Okay, so you have a backpack. Okay. Yes. What about the rest, guys? En qué andan sus cosas? What do you normally have? A purse? Como una una, una cartera? A purse? A handbag? Una cartera de mano? Or a backpack? O una bolsita? What do you have? Okay. What do you What do you use to take your stuff? Uh, Ana, Anita, what do you back, take? Backpack. Okay, so you have a backpack. Marvin, what do you use? Plastic bag. Especialmente con esta lluvia, you know? Super, super selectos. Super selectos bag. Because with this rain, uh, yo siempre pongo mi computadora en una bolsita, you know? So I put it around yes. and then I put um, it in my backpack. And uh, hams también. <laughs> hams also. Hands. Um, mano. <laughs> oh, in your hand. You can have it in your hand. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, yes. No, but the computer, no. <laughs> I, I love yes, my computer. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, yes. really? Uh, okay. igual, eh, igual el OVE eh, compu, pero no hay para dónde. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? <laughs> but in a bag, but not in my hands. Se me quebraría. Uh, Natalie, what about you? Because I know that you you take medicine or you take tools when you visit your customers. So, uh, do you take a briefcase? Do you take a backpack? What do you take? I take a, a backpack. Uh, um, botiquín. Okay, like uh, um, can, can like a first aid kit. A cure heat instrumental. No sé si así se dice. Eh, the tools. Podemos usar la palabra tools para todos los. los ah, para tools. Todo el, sí. uh -huh, tools para todas yes. las herramientas que se utilicen. Ok. Is it big or is it small? Big. Uh, are many. Are many. I, I take uh, some uh, blocks. Are many oh. blocks. Yes. Do I you take have boxes. Them. Yes, because wow. I I have uh, many tools in different tools. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the idea that I have is that you have like a lot of things as a dog food, right? So, yes. yes. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so you have like boxes, you said, person kit, a backpack. Wow, that sounds like very heavy stuff. Okay. So, um... Normally a briefcase is como bien elegante, bien old school. Mabel, what about you? What do you normally use? Or what do you, uh, what do you put your stuff in? Cartera handbag. Handbag, and that's it. <laughs> no backpack, no briefcase. Okay. Esto? <laughs> yes, that's a handbag. Oh, okay. Handbag. Okay. Yeah, that's a handbag. Y, um, y el, yes. um, eventualmente el porta computadora, ¿cómo sería el maletincito que es para computadora? It can be a ese, computer. Ese es un briefcase uh, también. Um, no, no, no. I would say just computer bag. Computer bag. Yeah, computer bag. Computer bag. 
el briefcase es que es más old school, es como más de la vieja uh -huh. escuela, but that could work. Okay. Era más para documentos. Uh -huh. okay. uh, then we have number 12, there is a conference room. Most companies have conference rooms. And number 13 is the stapler. So the stapler is when you have paper and you're like, yes, that is a stapler, an engrapador. I guess you are familiar with them. Paper clips or clips. In Spanish, se llaman igual. <laughs> we call them the same way in Spanish. And the calculator, right? So those are some of the things that we normally have in um, an office. Now tell me, what else do you have in your office? From the ones that are here, which one was not mentioned that you have in your place? Obviously, like computer, those are included. Anything else? Tienen algo más? Nothing else? Eh, no tenemos. <laughs> we don't have all of these things. I know. I don't have a stapler. Okay. Well, but that gives us an idea of the, the way how we can describe things. So, in that case, let me move a little bit to the following. Okay. Le pueden tomar captura if you need to. Algunos de que le estaban, estaban tomando notas, so I mean, let me know si necesitan más tiempo, please. So I can move ahead. Okay, let's take a look at the following. Here we have, ask and tell information about places that are company. Today, vamos a practicar un poquito de pregunta, respuesta, description, and things like those. So let's try to participate tanto como podamos. Chicos, ¿me escuchan? Can, can you listen to me? ¿No se escucha? Okay. Great. Yes, I'm teacher. Super happy because since I've been Okay, great, great. So here it says, uh, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a person. Miss Jenner is supervising a new branch. Ayer vimos la palabra branch. What is the meaning of branch? Sucursal, Miss. Yes, yes. Sucursal. Escuché la voz de Clary. Clarice? Yes, Miss. Hello. Yeah, hello. How are you doing, Miss? I'm great. Yes, so then I was say, hey, that's Clarice's voice. Okay. Great. Yes. Happy to hear that. Okay. Uh, and gracias por estar acá, too. It says, she asks us about the location of the places in the branch. So, algunas de las palabras que tenemos are the following. Please repeat with me. Supervisor. 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 Okay. Duty. 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 Como call of duty, right? So duty. The next one we have is enough. 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 Como enough. una eje al final. Enough. 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 Okay. Enough. enough seats. Enough seats. Enough seats. Enough seats. Seats. What is the meaning of seats? What is a seat? So like a seat is like a chair, right? It's como un asiento, a chair, cualquier lugar para sentarse. So enough seat. Uh, the other one is a wing. Alguna vez han visto buffalo wing? I think that you're familiar with the word wing. Guadalupe, hello. Me alegra que ya llegó. Happy to see you yes. home. Está lloviendo. Did you get wet? Se mojó mi. A little. A little. Thank you. Gracias por conectarse. I know, yo sé que acaba de llegar. So, Chris. I'm glad you're home. Okay. okay. So, this word that we have, wind, eh, es como un ala, right? Como un lado, especially when we are talking about buildings. So, I would like to listen. Let me see. I need two volunteers. Can me quiere ayudar a leer? I need Miss Jenner and I need Michael. Who wants me to be Miss Jenner? Me teacher. Thank you. So, thank you, Brenda. You can help me with Miss Jenner. And I think I heard Mabel, right? <coughs> yes. Oh, are you sick? Yes, I learned this. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, okay. I hope so. I hope it's not anything else, just an allergy. <laughs> so help me read Michael, please. 
no es necesario que, le, que utilicen este nombre, lo pueden cambiar. You can change it. Ok. Ok. Start. Yes. Good morning. Are you Michael Perez? Ah, no lo cambié. Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I am the supervisor on the right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, if so, are there enough enough seats for list, listener? Como es a teacher? Yes, yes, listener. listeners. Exactly that way. For listeners. Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about longer or recreational place? Is there a longer? Longer? Yes, it is. It's in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So, yes, okay. um, I think everybody's familiar with the word like a lounge, right? Like a specific area for resting, like when you go to the airport. Eh, well, antes, ahora ya no se puede, but before, cuando iban a esperar a, a alguien, right? Or you could get into the airport and go to the lounge. So, como el, el área de espera. Um, so, this is like a lobby, right? Or just a place, you know, to relax. Um, we have here like a cafeteria. They mentioned conference room. They mentioned seats, etc., etc. So, today we are going to practice this part of the reason there are many questions. Uh, before, let's go into the following part. Revisamos un poquito de la estructura. El día de ayer, as Richard said before, vimos la parte de the reason there are, que es como yo describo, right? There, in my house, for example, in my uh, living room, there is a big sofa, there is a coffee table, there is a dining table, um, there is a lamp, etc. Pero si yo voy a preguntarle, por ejemplo, eh, dónde está Norberto, y yo quiero saber si hay una silla o si hay dos sillas, entonces vengo y tengo que cambiar un poquito la forma de preguntar. ¿Cómo lo voy a cambiar? Super easy, solo le damos vuelta. So, en vez de decir there is, yo pongo primero el is there. Y si van a ser dos, les quiero preguntar, en vez de decir there are, yo lo cambio a are there. So, Norberto, are there two chairs eh, nearby, como cerquita de usted? Are there two chairs? So, respondo con yes, there is, or no, there are. De, no, there are, sorry. So, number, are okay. there two chairs? Teacher. Eh, is, is, no, are there eh, two chairs? Are there two chairs? Ahí yes. donde está, hay dos sillas? Yes. Okay, eh, so yes, two, there are. Two, eh, eh, two, uh, to uh, este, printer. Okay. También viendo impresoras. <laughs> Podemos agregarle la palabra to al final para ese también. So there uh, are two chairs yeah. and two printers too. Uh, perfect. Thank you, Norbert. Okay. Hola. Eh, allí en la estructura, por ejemplo, donde yo le dije tú, tú, era por y también, ¿verdad? Oh, and there are two, two. Yeah. <laughs> Pero, I got it, I get it. Quizás para que no, no sea eh, confuso también al momento de decirlo, porque no se confunde diciéndolo, puede yeah. usar la palabra also. Eh, and there are two printers also. Para That... en vez del two, two. <laughs> Pero sí, I got it, I got it. Ok. So, vamos a hacer la pregunta de esta forma. Is there or are there? And uh, so let's take a look at the examples we have here. Is there a meeting room in your company? Guys, is there a meeting room? So in inglés corporativo, no, there isn't a meeting room. What about in your place? Is there a meeting room? Yes, company? in my work. Okay, 
Yes, there is I one. Don't think any, yes. Okay, Mabel, what about in your company? Is there a meeting room? Is there what? Uh, a meeting. Time? A meeting room. Is yes. there a meeting room? Yes, there is. Oh, okay. There. Anita, what about in Clesa? Is there a meeting room in Clesa? Repeat, teacher. Yes, uh, number one. Is there a meeting room in, in your company? Yes. Are there? Yes, there are. Quiero decir. Oh, okay. Oh, some varios. Um, How many? Um, yes, two. Oh, there are two. Okay, great. Take a look at number two. Is there a treatment plant in your workplace? Creo que no es muy común. Maybe in Ignacio's place. Ignacio, is there a treatment plant in your workplace? Una planta, right? The, the tratamiento de aguas residuales, etc. So, is there a treatment plant in your in, at ANDA or in your company? In, uh, in ANDA, how... oh, si, Ignacio, si gusta por el momento, eh, probemos con la cámara apagada. Pal, pal. Y, y es que a mí se me corta, pero yo escucho un poquito más. Do I love to hear Ignacio? Can you hear me? Um, yes, yes, uh, teacher. Teacher. In yes, other how uh, the the principal town how the residual water. Oh, so they have for treatment. Water. For, for treatment. Oh, okay. And in the, the 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 town <clears throat> for example. I'm sorry, Nancy. Okay, you are the San Rafa in a in a loquita. Okay, so so I no could more. listen. I sorry. could listen that in Anda. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. I heard that in in Anda there is one, and also in Olokuita there is another one. So thank you so much. Yeah, I know the, the weather is bad sometimes. Carlos? The enterprise, there is a, a plant of tratamento of water. And really? Yes. Oh, wow. Water of the plant is recycled in machines in the plant and reused to use in the toilet. Okay. Wait, Carlos, where do you work? <laughs> APX. Okay, but APX. yeah, is it construction? No, it's oh. import, right? Oh, lo que pasa es que ya hay tratamientos de químicos. Ah, that's why. Con medidas okay. ambientales no se puede botar el agua, tiene que tener un tratamiento químico. Oh. Y okay. entonces para botar la disposición final, no se puede tampoco consumir, entonces se usa para los sanitarios. Y ahí ya se va diluida. Okay. So, you process all the water. You, okay. Yes. Yeah, porque me llamó la atención because it was like, okay, pero no es construction or anything. Okay. okay, got it, got it. Thank you. What about three guys? Are there enough representatives? Enough, la palabra enough es suficiente. So, are there enough representatives? Hay suficientes personas que trabajan en su empresa, guys. Are there enough representatives? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Are right. there so, much? Yes, there are. <laughs> Demasiado. There are too many. Yeah. <laughs> okay, más than necesario. So, there are too many. What about food? Are there many restrooms? Normalmente le llamamos bathroom. Pero bathroom, eh, digamos que si es un baño público, eh, la palabra más adecuada o como lo van a ver es un restroom. So, are there many restrooms in your work? ¿Hay sanitarios? Yes. Are there many yes, restrooms? Yes. Okay. But many? Yes, yes. ¿Hay bastantes? In my company, is there one. Oh, there is only one. Okay. So, what about in your places? Are there many restrooms? 
hay varios baños sanitarios. In my company, five. Five, oh, yes. But your company is really big. So, mm, big. No, mm. no more, teacher. Oh, uh, really? in, in the office are 11, 11 people. Only 11 people. This oh. is a small teacher. Yes, because in San Salvador, wow, hay muchos. There are many people. Yes. So in San Salvador, it's in, una vez, in Santa I Ana went. City, is big, is big too. But Only in Aguachapan is is small. Is office very small. Oh, okay. Pensé que era igual de cantidad, you know. I thought that it, there were a lot of people. Oh, but five restaurants is bastante, hasta mucho. <laughs> there are many for 11 yeah. people. Okay, good, good. So let's take a look at this. Again, lo único que vamos a hacer con el is there is or there are, vamos a darle vueltecita, lo demás no va a cambiar. So, for example, here, number one says, conference rooms. La respuesta es, yes, there is one. Como es there is, la pregunta entonces fue, is there a conference, a conference room in your company? What about number two? Training room, si se fijan es plural. La persona dice, no, there are not any. Any lo utilizo para ninguno, para enfatizar. So, ¿cuál fue la pregunta? What is the question in number two? Okay, so help me with the second Miss, one. Yes, tell me, tell me. Uh, vamos a responder ahorita o la vamos a escribir en nuestro cuaderno. Uh, la pueden escribir, you can write it down. Eh? Ah, okay, okay.
Do we have the answers, guys? Do you need more time? Okay, guys, so help me please with the answers. Help me with number uh, two. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta en la número dos? What would be the question? Uh, Mr. Lopez, ¿está listo? Are you ready? Sure. Yes, Norbert? Este, no sé si estará bien, pero... Yeah, uh, say it. <laughs> no uh, the, the question two. Yeah, can you repeat? I'm sorry. Uh, se me un poquito. Can you tell me? Are there uh, training rooms? Very good. Sin el A, quizás. Are there training rooms? Ah, okay, thank okay, you. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. So, Marvin, ayúdenos con el tres. Help us with number three. Marvin, Marvin. Hi, teacher. There you go. Hello. How are you? We try to talk from the Hello? Uh, the question two. Three. The question Do you two. have number three? La tercera, do you have the third on site clinic? Is, is there on site, on site clinic in your company? Very good. Is there, is there a non site clinic? The person says, no, there is not one. No, I need one. Thank you very much. And the last one, number four. ¿Quién tiene la cuatro? Who has number four? Oh, boy. Let me see. Ingrid. Hola, Ingrid. No sé si ya llegó. Ignacio, uh, I mean, Pedrina, ¿está por ahí? Hola, Miss. Yes. What? Yes. Yes. Okay. Pedrina tiene la cuatro. Do you have the last? Yes, pero no yeah. sé si está bien. Se la diga. Say it, of course. Okay. Say it, no problem. Yeah. Acá la revisamos. Are they resort by resort by they bullying? Okay, yes, are there restrooms inside the building? Si sí, podría funcionar, the person says, yes, there are five restrooms. Um, solamente sería, en vez de they, le ponemos siempre este, ¿verdad? Que es there, are ah, there. Yeah. Are ah, there okay. restrooms inside the building? Lo demás súper bien. Very good, okay. Padrina, you got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, guys, so if we check this out, Remember that la parte de is there or are there va a depender si son uno o varios. For example, let me show you some questions. Um, here we have in San Salvador. So guys, tell me, in San Salvador, is there a football stadium in San Salvador? Or like a soccer stadium? Is there a soccer stadium? Hay un estadio en San Salvador? Where can you tell me? Yes, there is. Yes. No, there isn't. Yes. ¿Cuántos hay? How many? ¿Cuántos hay, guys? How many are there? Two. There are two. Two. 
Era tú, right? El Gustatlán en y el Flor Blanca. Or, exactly, en Mágico, yo le sigo llamando Flor Blanca. <laughs> yes, en Mágico González. What about this one? Are there five cinemas? Guys in San Salvador, hay cinco. Are there five cinemas? Hay cinco cinemas. Yes. Is San Salvador? How many? ¿Cuántos hay? In... I know one in, uh, there is one in Metro Centro. More. But, but Plus... only San, like, like a San Salvador, right? Not Soyapango, not Ilopango, but just San Salvador. No. Like the, in the, in no. the city, yes. let's say. Yes. So there is one in Metro Centro? Metro Centro. Solo Metro Centro. There is Only. one that is called Reforma near US. So that's two. Mm -hmm. uh, Galerías, is that San Salvador? Yes. Okay, yes. so that's three. There is one in Gali. Uh, multi? No, La Gran Vía. La Gran Vía is Antigua, right? Yes. Okay, so no. <laughs> so three? <laughs> I don't know. Is Majestic working? No. No, not anymore. And Apollo? Había uno llamado Apollo, right? There was one called Apollo. No longer. I don't know. Guys, ¿quién conoce no, bien San Salvador? Who knows San Salvador? No? The reason? Okay, so yeah, I no think funciona. we have only three. Oh, okay. Doesn't work anymore. What about the next one? Is there a big park? Hay como un parque grande. Is there a big park? In San Salvador. Mm -hmm. The Cuscatlan Park. Okay, Cuscatlan Park. And, um, and the one that is over Jerusalem? El Bicentenario. Bicentenario. That is San Salvador or Antiguo. Ambos. Okay, so let's say <laughs> so para que cosa plan eh el parque de la colonia Yumuri también en Miramonte. Yumuri. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what it is, but okay. O el parque ah. de la Centroamérica, no hay unas canchas. De, de la Centroamérica. Satélite. La satélite, ajá. Oh, okay. Okay. So satélite por yeah, that's kind of be uh, any other. No, I think that would be the only one. Okay. What about your room, guys? What about your places? Um, is there a TV in your room? Do you have a TV in your place? Yes. Tienen un televisor? Do you have a TV in your room? Yes, yes. there is. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. Yes. No, there is. No, there Okay, now the reason yeah. I don't have a TV in my house, so <laughs> I don't watch TV. I prefer YouTube. <laughs> okay, what about the second? Are there three toys on your bed? Do you have toys or teddies, teddy bears? No. no. And Brian is like, no, <laughs> that's not possible. I don't know, Brian. So, do you have toys in your bed? Alguien tiene juguetes, you know? Si tienen babies. I yes, think that I is very common. Okay, so Guadalupe <laughs> has, Guadalupe has some. Okay. I have a, a, a pillow de aguacate. An avocado <laughs> pillow, okay. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so cute. And, and one uh, turtle pillow. Turtle, oh, okay. So a turtle <laughs> and an avocado. <laughs> yes. Okay, so very interesting. I love avocado pillows. They are super cute. And the last one says, is there a lamp on your desk? Tienes una lámpara? Do you have a lamp? Yes, it's there. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. So, if you pay attention here, solamente es, is there, are there, and that would be it. Guys, first, Talking about the room. Quiero que escriban cinco preguntitas sobre las cosas que los compañeros pueden tener 
ya sea en la casa, in your room, in the living room, or in the yeah, living room, dining room, bedroom. So whatever you decide. Five questions, please. Um, remember, por lo general, si me pregunta es, si me pregunta sobre uno, I'm going to ask, is there? Y puedo responder, yes, there is. No, there isn't. Si me preguntas, are there? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. O puedo dar bien de, más detalles, right? For example, is there a TV in your room? No, there isn't. But there is a TV on the living room, for example. So si pueden dar detalles. You can, of course, give more details. So, les voy a dar cinco minutitos. I'll give you five minutes. Escribamos cinco preguntas. Let's make five questions. Five questions, guys. One more minute. 
me dice si necesitan más tiempo, please. Ingrid, me alegra que ya está en su casa. Happy you're there. Thank you, Miss. Concentration, Miss. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Provecho, Miss. Thank you. <laughs> Niña, usted, eso por fuera. Is everybody ready? Todos listos? Necesitan más tiempo? Talk to me, guys. Tienen preguntas con alguna eh, pre tienen preguntas con alguna pregunta? <laughs> Valga la redundancia. Do you have questions with the structure? Pedrina, ya terminó? Are you ready? No. No, teacher. Not yet. Not yet. OK. OK, no worries. I'll give you a couple of minutes para que las tenga listas. Okay, guys, so, si tenemos cuatro preguntas, five questions, eh, two, etc. Si les falta alguna, no worries. Uh, vamos a, a practicar because I want you to practice, you know, with other people, ask questions, y sobre todo, guys, listen. Escuchemos eh, activamente 
para comprender qué es lo que mis compañeros nos quieren preguntar. We know that listening es de las habilidades más difíciles. So just by listening to our classmate, intentando identificar cada palabra, we are doing like a big, very good, big job. Y sobre todo estamos educando al oído. So give me just one second. Voy a invitarlos a small groups, super small groups. Let's always try to keep it English. Intentemos manejarlo en inglés, please. Limitemos el español and let's go. Tenemos cinco minutos. We have five minutes to go, guys.
Okay, everybody, thank you so much. Sí, sí, le escucho, Brian. ¿Me escucha? 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 No, but yeah, I mean, I can listen to you now. Okay. So it's fine. Okay, guys, so ayúdenme con las preguntas. Help me with the questions that you have. I want to listen to a couple of your questions or las preguntas que les hicieron. What questions do you remember? What questions do you listen to? Is there a stereo in your house? Oh. Oh, stereo, like the, for music. Uh, yes, for music. Oh, stereo. okay. I heard a stadium and I was like, no. <laughs> okay, oh, no, there isn't. I just don't listen to music. <laughs> okay, next question, guys. Phone. Yeah, I prefer you. I love YouTube, so yeah. <laughs> Only size of YouTube. <laughs> and everything movies and everything is for yeah i can just mute too okay let me listen to your questions guys what else teacher is there ac in your room um not yet but in the future i hope so <laughs> yeah because yeah. it is so hot right very hot mm -hmm. it's very hot next question what do you have It's next, next. Mm, me, teacher. A ver. Is there a garage in your house? Uh, yes, there is. There is a garage. Thank you. Who has next? Mita, do you have a question for me? Is there a mirror in the in your in your room? Yes, there is a mirror. And I like it because it makes me look skinny <laughs> and I'm not. <laughs> I love the mirror. Uh, Ingrid, do you have a... Ingrid, no lo he escuchado. <laughs> I haven't heard you. So let me listen to your question, Ingrid. Oh, enjoy it. No se preocupe. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Later. <laughs> uh, Carlos... Oh, Richard, Richard, ¿podemos hacer una pregunta? Can we make a question? Yes. Um, uh, are they uh, adopt uh, your house? Okay, are there dogs? No, there aren't. So no. I don't have pets. No, I don't have pets. That's so sad. But I want a dog. I really yes. like a dog. Okay, guys, I like a very good use of questions. And remember, eh, no sería they, sino there, are there, como I, right? Entonces, cambia un poquitín la pronunciación. Just be careful with that. Uh, let me present my, okay, yeah, let me present my screen here. And let's take a look at the following exercise I have for you. It says, correct the errors. Vamos a corregir un par de errores that we can find here. Write the correct sentence in the long uh, in the long box below each sentence. Me van a ayudar corrigiendo las oraciones que tenemos acá. Eh, si encuentran alguna, por supuesto. Si no hay ningún error, estamos super bien. But help me find the errors, cualquier error que encontremos. For example, number one, there isn't some water in the glass. Está bien, is that okay? Si yo quiero decir no hay agua, okay, en el vaso, like for example, I have a bottle, pero ya no tengo agua. Como digo no hay agua, there isn't. Y vamos a agregar, guys, le voy a dar una ayudita acá. Cuando decimos que no hay, Yo le puedo decir, voy a agregarle o le puedo agregar, no es obligatorio, una palabra que les comenté el día de ayer, que es la palabra any. Let me present my screen, por si, eh, just in case se nos haya ido por algo, 
No, para refrescar un poquito. La palabra any la usamos para enfatizar, ¿ok? Para decir ninguno, ninguna o para preguntas. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero, por lo general esta es negativa. So yo vengo y yo digo, oh, eh, en mi refrigeradora no hay ninguna verdura. There isn't any vegetable. Okay. There isn't any vegetable in my refrigerator. So there isn't, me lo enfatiza para ninguno, right? Con el aren es lo mismo. No hay ninguna diferencia si es there isn't or there aren't. Yo puedo también utilizar any. For example, when you go to a store, están buscando, I don't know, tomatoes, for example. And you're like, oh, no hay ninguna tomate. No había ningún tomate. So there isn't any or there aren't any. Pero lo único es que esta voy a tener que pluralizarla porque uso there aren't. There aren't any tomatoes. There isn't any vegetable. Ambos quiero decir no hay ninguno. Right? So, for example, uh, in your room, ¿qué es algo que no hay en su cuarto, en su habitación? What is something that you don't have? I can tell you, for example, there are flowers. AC. Computer. There isn't any computer. There isn't any AC. Yo no tengo televisor en la casa. There isn't any TV. There isn't any mirror. Exactly. ¿Qué más es algo que no tiene? What is something that you don't have? Or in your house? Toys. No, 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 no. Brenda, how do you say? Jacuzzi, ¿cómo se dice? Jacuzzi. Tengo ya que en mi casa. Pero jacuzzi, jacuzzi sí hay. No, no, no. En her house. Solo que el charco del patio. En el patio, pero hay. La pila, la pila. Ahí está. Ay, no, la pila. Como caliente el agua de la pila, pues. La falta de él. Ah, pues sí. No, but the pila is like a container, okay? No, there isn't any there, pool. There isn't any pool. No, any pool. Or any pool. 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 Okay, there isn't any pool. There what do you say? Mesa de billar. Uh, it's not a pool table. Pool. Es lo mismo, pool. Solo que le llamamos table. There isn't any pool table. Pero cuando usted quiere enfatizar de ninguno, entonces utilizamos any. That's why yeah. no es obligatorio porque usted puede decir perfectamente acá. Se puede utilizar como alguna. Eh, Ingrid, se puede utilizar como. Sí, se puede utilizar. Y este se puede. Eh, Ani es ninguno, ¿verdad? Y se puede utilizar como también como alguna. No. Una. Por ejemplo. Something. Dígame, dígame como el ejemplo que utilizaría, porque puede ser que utilicemos son, como dice Marvin. Como dice, como dice, is there any question in the class? Oh, exactly. Okay, algo... Exactly. Oh, sí, no tiene género. El any es como ninguno o ninguna. No, no tiene género. Pero es diferente cuando ya lo utilizamos en oración. So, ahí sí cambia. Pero no, no hay género. Puede ser... Is there, uh, for example, la de question, me gusta eso. Uh, there is, there isn't any question. No hay ninguna pregunta. So there isn't any question in the class, okay? There isn't any question about the topic. Entonces, sí, el any me enfatiza que ninguna, ya? Now, para preguntas. Entonces, si lo utilizo para, Ingrid? O sea, no, mi pregunta es, que se, vaya, yo sé que se puede decir, no hay género cuando diga ninguno o ninguna, pero se puede utilizar como alguna o alguno. Uh, dígame el ejemplo, ¿cómo no. sería? La oración que le digo ajá, is they, ¿Algún? como por ejemplo para decir, is they in question in the class, ¿hay alguna sí. pregunta? Uh, uh, ahorita Ingrid, hay alguna vale, si la teacher, uh, teacher. Yes. I can say everybody have a question uh, no sería does yeah. does anybody have 
Pero, pero, eh, no sé si la pregunta de Ingrid, no sé si la pregunta de Ingrid va por acá. Eh, yo lo puedo utilizar así, Ingrid, me confirma. Ah, es como decir, ¿hay alguna pregunta? Se, sí, puede, se puede usar la palabra como alguna también, no solo como ninguna o, a, o ninguno, sino que como alguna o alguno. Sí. Es correcto, de hecho, a esto, a esto iba precisamente la parte de preguntas, que es lo que estamos practicando right now. Uh, so, el ENI tiene dos usos. El uso número uno es para oraciones negativas cuando usted enfatiza, right? Y el segundo uso es para preguntas cuando usted no está seguro. En vez de decirle, por ejemplo, is there a question? Usted le, is there one, are there two? Usted viene y le pone, are there any? Eh, sí, la traducción sería como hay alguna. Eh, to be honest, no, no es como algo que nos, nos vaya a preocupar tampoco con la parte de plurales. Entonces puede ser alguna o algunas, alguno o algunos. No, no hay como problema si es singular, plural, femenino, masculino, no tiene ningún género. Por ejemplo, arder, any eh, chairs, ok. Are there any chairs in your house? Um, is there any sugar, okay, in your, um, what, in your kitchen, for example? Entonces, sí se puede. Y el N sí lo utilizamos acá como alguna. But veámoslo más, no en traducción, porque el detalle es que si nos enfocamos en traducción, eh, va a pensarlo en español siempre. Pensémoslo en el uso. El N yo lo voy a utilizar para negativas y lo voy a utilizar para preguntas. No, no, no sé si eh, le, le terminé de confundir <risa> o le respondí la pregunta y answer your question. Clear. Okay. Guys, clear, es, clear, clear. amazing, amazing. Guys, estamos bien hasta acá. Are we okay so far? Uh, teacher. Yes. Ani, Ani, eh, <risa> se va a utilizar en negative y and the question. Pero no Exacto. en positive. No en positive. No positive. Porque, porque okay. positivos tiene un, un, un sentido totalmente diferente. En yes. positive, usted viene y usted dice, oh, hay poquitas o hay muchas, pero son positivas, negativas. Si usted dice no hay, entonces es cuando se utiliza en ello. ¿Qué voy a utilizar entonces en positiva? There is one, there are two, there are some. Ok. Uh -huh. O puedo decir, oh, hay unas poquitas, there are a few, ok, o oh, hay muchas, there are a lot of, entonces es diferente, positive, usted dice cuántas hay, pero el enemy me da la idea de no hay nada, ok, o lo utilizo para preguntas para alguno o alguna. Un poco mejor, Gans. Por eso es que dicen a veces en las películas, ¿verdad? Eh, any question, solo preguntaba. Any question, exactly. ¿Alguna pregunta? Any question? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O usted pregunta, anybody? Como de alguien? Ajá, uh -huh. por eso. ¿Por qué se usa para preguntas? En una película que vi, que se acaba, ¿no? alguien le decía como el porqué de because y el otro le dice, any question, como solo preguntaba. En, en una película así lo vi, o así lo habían puesto. Ok, sí, porque la idea de any question es como preguntas. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ajá, like, ¿tiene Ajá preguntas? correcto. El que, Ajá. el que contesta es como, porque le preguntaron el que por qué estaba preguntando algo y él dice, solo, solo era una pregunta. Y ahí oh, ponen okay. any question. Ok, ok. Sí, esa es la idea de any question. Si se fija, está, is there any question? Pero como los americanos siempre hacen todo más rápido. So, si usted escucha, any question, es como preguntas, tienen preguntas. Do you have any questions? Sería la, la forma larga, right? So, uh, guys, any question? <laughs> Tienen preguntas con eso. Do you have any question with this? ¿Estamos bien? Are we okay? More or less, more or less. More Everybody or less. okay? So, let's practice, no. let's practice. And uh, si surgen más preguntas, lo vamos viendo en el camino. So, basado en lo que acabamos de ver, guys, really quick, tell me, number one, there isn't some water in the glass. ¿Qué no tiene sentido? ¿Dónde está el error? Where is the mistake? Some. 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 No puedo decir no hay y luego son. No se puede. ¿Qué le voy a poner o qué le voy a quitar? 
There isn't any. No hay nada de agua. There any. isn't. Oh, no hay agua. There isn't any water. Exactly. Voy a usar any para eso. Two. There are a three children talking with the teacher. Number two. ¿A dónde está el error? Where is the mistake? Children. Any. Mira, any. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to... Los voy a mover acá. I'm going to... Oh, the mistake here is Tom. Here is A. Porque si digo R, no necesito A. A solo es para uno. Remember, A is only one. Number three. ¿Quién tiene la tres? Who has number three? Number three. Ars, porque son varios, ¿verdad? No. I don't know. Usted me dice. Teacher, en la question 2, eh, no debería llevar ese, dice children. Um, no, no, uh, no, Norbert, le explico por qué. La palabra children ya es plural. So, la palabra singular termina hasta acá. Eh, se lo voy a circular. Child es singular, pero el plural es todo children. Ya no lleva ese porque esa palabra ya fue plural. Como cuando usted dice woman, woman es una, pero para decir mujeres es women, pero sin S ya no lleva eso. So, son okay. plurales irregulares. Sí, okay, eh, okay. Very good, excelente pregunta. Children ya es plural. Uh -huh. So, number three. ¿Cómo estamos con la tres, guys? ¿A dónde está el error? Eh, error. Where is the mistake? Are the cars. Oh. Ok, ya, yeah, podemos usar any en vez de hacer. Are there any? Hay algunos carros, hay algún carro. Uh -huh. Number four, is there any windows in this classroom? ¿A dónde está el error? And is, okay. are there? And is. Hello? Ahí creo que es are is there, there are women in the classroom? Yes. <laughs> no distinguí la voz, sorry. I was there. <laughs> Amen. Is, is, are, are there? Is, are, are there, there some women exactly. in the Exactly. Very good. Cambio el is for are. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Five. ¿Qué tiene la cinco? Who has number five? Brenda, ready for that? There aren't some pens in the pencil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Quiero ver. Quiero ver. There aren't any pens. Ya la so, ya la sopló Brian. <laughs> la quería decir, but yeah. I didn't want to say it, but yeah. La puta de la lengua de la mía, Brian. Okay. Yeah. Uh, como digo, no hay ninguno. No tiene sentido que yo diga son. ¿A qué? Porque no hay. So there aren't any. Recuerden eso de la tía Annie. Se pronuncia any. So there aren't any pencils. No hay ninguno. That would be the one. Number six. Para que Brenda no se quede con los ánimos, you know, and not be ready. <laughs> so what is uh, the mistake in number six? Six. There is some people in the, in the back. Backyards. There, there are some people. Very good. Because teníamos person, que es uno, and people, que son varios. Very varios. Good. good job. Nice. Number seven. ¿Quién tiene la siete? Who has number seven? Are there? Yes, are there. Are there? There are. Oh, oh es pregunta. Exactly. Entonces, lo único que voy a hacer es cambiar el orden. There are any stickers in the album? Are there any stickers? Lo demás, super bien. Y la última, there is any parsley? What would is be the there? question? Exactly. Are, is there any parsley? What is the meaning of parsley? Parsley. 
Parsley. Parsley is a leaf that smells that you put in the chicken soup, like a leaf. Cilantro. The other, uh, no, espere him. That is parsley. <laughs> I always confuse coriander <laughs> and parsley, pero espere him. So, uh, is some of being acetal, guys? Are we good? Fine? Yes. Yes. More or less, more or less. Okay, mm -hmm. guys, if you can do this, please ask questions, okay? Volvemos a ver el tema, no hay ningún problema, but I want to make sure that we get this. Um, okay, let me just continue then. Uh, okay, ahí está. Okay, so let's take a look at the following. Vamos a hacer esto oralmente, and it says, think about a place in El Salvador. No van a decirlo, no van a escribirlo. Just think about a place in El Salvador. Your classmates will ask questions to guess the place, okay? Puede ser, uh, be very specific, please. Le van a hacer preguntas como qué hay en ese lugar. Is there a swimming pool? Is there a restaurant in the place? Is there um, a place in San Salvador? Is there a shopping mall? Pueden pensar en pueblitos. You can choose like a restaurant. You can select like a church. Pero tiene que ser bien específica the one that you're thinking about, right? So, who wants to get started? Remember, this is your classmates will ask questions. Ustedes no le van a decir cuál es el lugar. They will ask you questions. Y ustedes solo van a hacer como, yes, there is. No, there isn't. Ya yeah, to get an idea cuál es el lugar. Um, recordemos una cosita nada más. Is there or are there? Me pregunta, hay, pero no me pregunta si es. Entonces, si yo quiero preguntar, ¿es helado? ¿Es caliente? ¿Está en San Salvador? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? What is the question? Si quiero preguntarte el clima, like, ¿es helado? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Oh. Is there? Is there cool here? Because, cool because, here? because okay, okay, let's remember the following. Is there significa hay. Are there significa hay. Pero yo quiero preguntar es. Totalmente yes. diferente. Entonces yo voy a utilizar it. San Salvador, there is cool. Okay. Pero como yo no sé el lugar, yo tengo it is cool. ¿Cómo convierto esto en pregunta? How do I make a question? Is, is, is. Ah, so lo voy a cambiar este orden. So, so, remember, vamos a ponerle atención a qué queremos preguntar. ¿Es o hay? Ok. Si quiero preguntar es, ¿is it cold? ¿Is it hot? Ok. ¿Es bonito? ¿Is it beautiful? ¿Es peligroso? ¿Is it dangerous? ¿Es, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué le podría preguntar? ¿Is es caro? Is it expensive? So, esta es la parte de es. Pero si yo quiero preguntar, ¿hay? Entonces es que yo vengo y yo pregunto, ¿are there? Is there? Are we okay? So, ¿hay? Is there or are there? Es, voy a utilizar is it. La primera que tenemos acá. Is it. Is it cold? Is it hot? Is it dangerous? Is it cheap? Is it affordable? Y así vamos. So, guys, ¿quién nos quiere ayudar? Who wants to select a place? ¿Quién quiere seleccionar un lugar? And uh, para que el resto de compañeros le hagan preguntas. Who wants to help us with that? Any volunteer? Who wants to get started? Only Carlos? in any place. I'm sorry? Only thing in any place. Yeah, no nos tienen que decir cuál es el lugar. You don't have to tell us. Pero tiene que pensar en un lugar bien específico. Eh, de preferencia uno que considere que algunos ya lo conocen, right? Um, so, your classmates le van a hacer preguntas utilizando esto. Is it? Are there? Is there? Y usted solo le va diciendo yes, no, yes, no. Y si le dicen el lugar, pues la idea es adivinarle en qué lugar usted está pensando. Okay. okay, perfect. So, Carlos, ¿ya decidió? Did you choose the place? Okay, very good. Nos puede dar una pista. You can tell us like a little hint. 
de si es un, I don't know, like a restaurant, a church, eh, a town, a countryside, eh, a touristic place, or no it's, sé, o dónde está ahí. Uh -huh. It's a touristic place. Okay, it is a touristic place. Guys, preguntas, or, or no. ¿Cómo se dice pueblo? A town. ¿Oh? Town, se lo voy a escribir. A oh. town. Uh -huh. So it is a, a touristic place and it is a town. A town. Okay. Oh, oh my God. It's going to be hard. Okay. <laughs> so, pregúntenle a Carlos, please. Ask questions to Carlos. Is it a hot? What? Carlos? Is it, is hot? it hot? Is it hot? Es caliente, es cálido. Uh -huh. oh. Pregunten, guys. Is there? Are there? Is this uh, beautiful? Yes, it's beautiful. It is a cool place. Huh? It is a cool? No. Is there a horse? Teacher, can you repeat? It, it is is a mountain? There, there a horse? Horse, un caballo. Horse. Yes. Okay, is there a horse? Yes. Many people use a horse for transportation. Okay. It is near? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, near to the capital. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. A glue? Continue, continue, ask questions. There is commerce in that place. Yes. Yes. Oh. But people use horses. Are there uh, animals in their place? No. There are different animals? No. But it is a town, right? It's un pueblito, you said. Okay. I don't is a hot or I don't is a cool. Oh, yeah. So is it what like not cold not hot like cool a glue, a glue is the fireball oh i and got it <laughs> <laughs> i got it okay no it's a down a horse do people use horses is it hot? I don't know. I don't know, Mejapa. Yes. Wow. Yes. That was yes. nice. That was a very nice guess. Okay. Anybody else? Quien nos quiere ayudar? Quien quiere pensar en un lugar? Who wants to think about a place? Oh, hi. Okay, perfect. So, give us like a little clue. Denos un par de, una descripción super short. Is it a town? Is it a no. touristic place? No, or... It's a touristic place. Okay, it is a touristic place. Um, guys, who wants to start? Ask questions, please. Okay, my question. Are there pool? <laughs> yes, are there. <laughs> okay, are there it pool and, and trees? Sorry, no, perdón. ¿Cómo dijo Ignacio? Yeah. Um, are there trees and pools? Yeah. Yes, I there. The water is, yeah. is cool yeah. or hot? It is a volcano. No, no, no. No, no. I, no there isn't. Is, is, there, there a voice, is there a river? Let me see. No, no, there isn't. It is, it is hot or cold? Hot. The water. Okay. The place is hot. There are pools. There are trees. Carlos? It is small. Termo del Rio. No, no. Is it Termo del like Rio? Termos. I don't know. Like but, but Termos is not hot. Uh -huh. Carlos is Como asking if it is a mountain. Is that a mountain? No. No, no. It is not a mountain. Oh my God. Okay. Is there it are, in San there Salvador? Are, uh, no. No. Oh, okay. It is dangerous. 
No. Is it dangerous? No. <laughs> wow. The beach? It's a, it it the is beach? a beautiful place. Yes. Beach and Clean. pool. Beach. Are there beautiful girls? Yes. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god okay but the place is, is they are uh, very cool and short uh, Mabe? is it near San San Salvador no no oh. it is it in San Sonate yes yes <gasps> the camera Yes, oh. oh my god. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hot? I don't know. <laughs> No, guys, now that we are talking about places, nos falta la salida. We are still missing the invitation for pupusas Marvin, that Marvin, Brian dijo que, dijo Marvin, invited. Siempre que nos vamos a despedir yes, del de módulo, decimos que vamos a ir a, a los planes al final. Marvin debe una salida todavía. Donde la niña Mari nos lleva. Como dice mi... Varias excursiones ya hicimos ya. Este módulo. Uh, sí, desde el, desde el primer día, ¿no? Desde el neo, creo que. The module el... word. <laughs> no, but, but you know, I remember that was Brian. I don't know. I, I don't know. Recuerdo que fue Brian que iba, de la promesa. Marvin me invitar al, del, uh, al tobogán de picnic. Ay, es cierto. Somebody invited everybody there. No, but we gotta, we no, gotta make a victory. Sería. Because of Norberto and because of uh, the girls like Clary, Anita, and, and Jackie. So, yeah, we have to find a place. We have to look for that one. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, oh my God, time has went flying. So, el tiempo se nos acabó. This has gone like, you know, pretty, pretty quick. And uh, either way, so, vamos solamente a pasar asistencia. Si me ayudan con sus camaritas, please. Let me see you guys. Let's see you. Sigue lloviendo sus casas. Is it still yes. raining? Yes. 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 I know. I know. Well, but lo bueno es que van a dormir super bien. So you're going to be like very, very relaxed and dirty. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Y cuando hay... Cuando hay un, una inundación, por decirlo así. Flooding. ¿Perdón? Uh, se lo escribo, es flood. Yes. Flooding. Flooding. Bueno, well, yo vi en las noticias very early Pero que sí algunas comunidades sí estaban como en los bancos, I think. There were sí, Santa floating. Lucía. Santa uh, Lucía. 49 <coughs> Avenue Flooding. 39 Avenue. Oh, 49. Yes, yes. Really? Avenue, Avenue Roosevelt. Near um, the stadium. Es por la Yamaha yes. se inunda siempre, ¿verdad? Oh, yes. Justo en ese cruce de la Yamaha y la 49. Yes. No, pero hoy está, hoy está hasta el otro lado, hasta la Puma. Bueno. Well, oh. no. Sí. O, also, well, normalmente en la esquinita cuando Correct. se incorpora el boulevard. Yes, eso yes. Eso sí siempre. It's pero like, hoy, hoy está en otro lado. Oh, yes. oh, es que ha llovido fuerte. So please yes. be careful, guys. Eh, también no se vayan a enfermar, you know, because eh, andan dando gripes, eh, alergias, and yeah. everything. So it's careful. Um, so regalen mi confirmación verbal, please. I got Brenda. Ya la oí por ahí. Present. <laughs> Thank you. Brian. Present. Thank you. Uh, Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Very much. And um, Jackie. Jackie. Oh, creo que empezó a llover en la zona de, del occidental país. True. Eh, Jocelyn. Oh, Jocelyn también. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Me alegra que pudo solucionarlo. So happy. Yes, teacher. That you're with us. Eh, Norbert. Present teacher. 
Amor Bird. Very nice. Martin Bonilla. Acabo de ver a Martin. I just saw uh, Marvin, he disappeared. Hello, Marvin. Are you working? Are you still at work? Yes, I'm working very hard tonight. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, good, Marvin. I don't know why, but I don't believe that uh, that much, you know. Eh, Clary, creo, sí, ahí está Clary. Hello, Miss. Hello, Miss. ¿Cómo Hello, siguió la lluvia ahí? It's raining um, yeah. over here. Yes. Oh, thank you. Gracias por siempre estar con nosotros, Miss. Eh, Moses. Russian teacher. Thank you. Pedrina. Pedrina estuvo with. No, I think she's gone. Eh, René. Well, René's right there. Present, eh, present, present, present. Thank you. Richard. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And the. Uh, Mabel. Mabel Reyesa. Thank you so much. And Ingrid. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, Carlos, didn't I read your name? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin. Who did I miss? Sandrita? No, I think Sandra is gone. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much. Uh, gracias que a pesar de la lluvia están acá, you know, practicing. Thank you so much for that. Eh, solamente dos cositas. Creo que algunos tenían dificultades con el ejercicio de ayer. El ejercicio número tres les estaba dando problemas. Please, solamente escriban el verbo que les hace falta. Eh, y el resto, solamente revisemos como los puntitos al final, los espacios, and that would be it. Eh, recuerden que para esta semana debemos de completar hasta el midterm, debemos de completar este examen final, es decir, cinco tareas, la número 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, y después de la 10 está el midterm, que también debemos de completar, right? Debe de estar listo antes del día viernes, así que please, eh, avancemos con eso, you know, let's try to move ahead. Eh, además tenemos eh, el video, gracias a quienes ya me lo están compartiendo, yo sé que algunos ya lo tienen listo. Uh, in case you don't have it ready, recuérdense que es un video cortito explicando un tema, especialmente los steps. Que al menos les salga de un minuto, un minuto treinta, dos minutos, estaría perfecto. Tampoco de diez segundos de cómo hacer café, you know? <laughs> Like you boil the water, you put the sugar. Because like this, practical vocabulary. Or to make a I mean, maruchan. It's fun. No, um, no maruchan está súper bien, pero siempre cuando lo expliquen, tampoco solo es que salga eh, la figura moviéndose. You have to explain it. So first, you open con el vocabulario adecuado, right? So busquen cómo se dicen las cosas and you're fine. Un minuto, dos minutos, that would be perfect. No tiene que ser editado, no se preocupen por la música, that's not the idea. Si no, pídanle a alguien que los vaya grabando y así lo mandan, right? That would be it. Eh, ¿Preguntas? ¿Alguien tiene questions? ¿Any question? No? Ok, so, antes de irnos, solamente regálenme un segundo. Les confirmo. ¿Any question? No questions. So, eh, el one on one de ahora es con Brian. So, Brian, me regalo un par de minutitos, please. Los demás estamos dismissed. Que duerman súper bien. Cuídense mucho y nos vemos mañana, if God willing. See you bye guys. Bye. Have you a tomorrow. good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Night. Bye, Dick. Bye. Bye. Un segundito, dime ya. Teacher, Dani, Dani, si buen todavía. Eh, yeah, but that I need to talk to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ok, déjame un segundo. Ok, tengo un whatsapp. Ok, déjame un segundo. Sí, teacher, I told him, but creo que está en something. Ok, so, uh, gracias por ahí, tenemos como el one on one today. And, uh, Well, no, first of all, me alegra mucho que esté con nosotros a este nivel. I'm super glad you're with us. Eh, me gusta mucho que ya lo escucho participar. Yo sé que a veces nos llenamos de cosas, you know? 
pero sí. me alegra mucho que lo escucho bien activo, like you're practicing a lot, eh, you're participating a lot, and that's great, porque le va a ayudar a avanzar mucho más, especially yeah. with, with Marvin and, and, uh, mm. and Renee, so también Mabel, you know, so I, I like the group, It's super, super cool, así que ella si tiene la jefa. oportunidad. <laughs> oh, ella es su jefa. Mabel, Mabel es, ella es la licenciada, es la gerente de operaciones de la oh, empresa. Oh, y yo le estaba preguntando si usted era su jefa. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> know. <laughs> And she was like, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. She didn't tell me. Yeah, mi jefa. Okay. Oh, vaya, sé que le pone que es así. Me está Ay, no, <laughs> no, no. Ayer, lo siento, ayer, teacher, ayer me cedé con, con unas pasillas y creo que me doblaron. Así que quizás en el, por, por lo del one on one, quizás hay cosas de ayer que sí no, no, no les presté la, la atención. Por, el, por lo menos en lo que estuve, ¿qué fue lo que comentó? ¿Qué dijo que había visto ayer? No lo recuerdo. Um, denme un segundo, déjeme ver si tengo la presentación en la mano. I can share that. But yesterday solamente vimos la parte de There is and There Are. Eh, vimos un poquito de vocabulario. So we checked just some vocabulary. Some words creería que eso, you know. Eh, sí, acá la tengo. Let me present this. Y para que podamos ir revisando, right? Si hay algo que se nos quedó. So that's fine. Um, no vimos como cosas súper nuevas because este tema de The Reason There Art ya lo habíamos estudiado antes, pero tal vez como un refresher. Un, un refresher. Que, ajá, nos puede ayudar bastante. So, for example, we checked some of these. Eh, well, this is the vocabulary that we checked yesterday. Um, So, for example, if we are talking about um, places in the town, what are, which of these places are new for you? Uh, nursery school. A nursery school, okay. Uh, have This you is, uh, ever... Como... Tell me. Uh, por lo que dice, es una escuela de enfermería. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, exactly. Like the one that is near Hospital Rosales? So yeah. like, uh -huh, or also near uh, Magico Gonzalez uh, Stadium. So there are schools, nursery schools in that place. Mm -hmm. ah. If we have restaurants, we have museums, factory, city hall. Do you know the meaning It's of city alcaldia? hall? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Uh, we so have prison. Yes, only the nursery school is new work. It's new. Oh, okay. Yeah, laundry and etc. I, I don't think they are quite new. So yesterday we checked this topic of the reason there are como un, así un super quick refresher. Uh, so if you remember, for example, we use the is para uno and there are for more. And uh, for yesterday, oh, esa palabrita quizás, branches. Uh, I don't know if that is new for you or you are familiar no, with No, 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 ya, ya lo ella es familiar, como de sucursales o algo así. Exactly, so branches son como las ramificaciones or mm -hmm. in this case, como las sucursales. Como las franquicias, digamos. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And also in number two, if you check the example number two, it says there are uh, or there is and it says facility. So, una facility no es fácil ni nada de eso. A facility es un edificio, una construcción. So, por ejemplo. Es como que está como en, en proceso de construcción. No, 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 ya, no ya es le, yeah, lo que pasa es que se le puede llamar building. So, you can say there is a building, pero también se le puede decir there is a facility. Solo que facility ya involucra como todos los servicios que tiene, right? Like water, electricity, and everything. Y el building ah, es solo el muy edificio. El muy, la muy estructura. Mm -hmm, ah. Exactly. But es lo mismo. I mean, we use, we use it for the same purpose. For example, um, yeah, what facility? Especialmente empresas grandes, you know. Eh, if we talk about AES, uh, CAES, El Salvador, so they have like two or three facilities in San Salvador. So like, like buildings, right? Like okay. los edificios. Mm -hmm. The rest of them, I don't think it was so, di so difficult. Eh, let me see. Y lo que veíamos ahora, que, por ejemplo, in, well, con la parte de singular, nunca pluralizo, in plural, eh, como son varios, yo sí tengo que decir el número. 
there are two, there are three, there are four. O puedo utilizar la palabra some, like algunos, uh, a lot of, para bastantes. Like there are a lot of flowers, there are some flowers, etc. Pero se utiliza más any o some, cualquiera. O... No, es que son diferentes. For example, here. Aquí dijo que si any es contra alguna. Positive, there is a. Eh, plural, there are, pero está en la categoría de positivas. Negative, there isn't a, o este a lo puedo cambiar por any. There isn't any stars. Como ahorita, no hay ninguna, ninguna estrella. There isn't any star in the sky. Okay. Okay. Or there aren't any stars. Pero el any solo es para negativas y para preguntas. Like, mm -hmm. is there a star? Are there any stars? Mm -hmm. Solo para negativas. Ah, okay. No podemos utilizar any como en algo positivo, digamos. No, no tendría, es que no, no tiene como no, no mucha hay como lógica. Sentido, digamos, no, no es dentro Exacto. de la estructura. Porque si usted dice any, me da la idea de que no hay. Y si usted dice there is, es como hay, right? So, for example, si usted me describe su oficina o su empresa, like your company, uh, ¿cuáles son algunas cosas que no hay? What are some of the things that you don't have there? I don't know. Uh, for example, there, there are any TV. Okay. Oh, there, negativa, is there, is a, exactly. there is an a TV. There is an a TV. Okay. Oh, there are in any pools. Yeah. Or, uh, tuvimos dos piscinas, pero las quitaron. Por, por, no, in the, sí. in the place, in the facility. Sí, teníamos ah. dos piscinas con rampla, no sé cómo se dice rampla y todo eso. O oh, perdón, la, en la, lo que salta uno, en lo que trampolín. uno salta, el trampolín. Sí, habían dos piscinas, es que es bien grande. Okay. Por really, is the place big. Sí, no sé si tendré una foto, algún día le puedo enseñar. Como era, wow. era bien bonita, había piscina, pero hoy lo hicieron un jardín <laughs> donde estaba. Oh, ok, there is, ok, so now there is a garden. Yes. Oh, ok, but there, there is any swimming pool, ok. Uh, what about pool tables? Is there any pool table? Uh, no, no, uh, there is in a pool table. Ok, ok. Uh, vending machines? Is there any no. vending machine? There aren't any vending machines. Or oh, there okay. isn't a vending machine. Ambas están bien. You can say there, there isn't any or there, uh, there are any. There are, there are some cat, cats. Cats? Like animals? Yes, cats. cats. Animals. Uh, uh, <laughs> I really hate cats. cats. But in the, in the office? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Why? Like Is there a shelter? Is there a shelter nearby? ¿Hay como un refugio? Is there a shelter? No, no, no. Pero yo llegué hace como siete años. Dicen que llegó uno, llegaron dos y no se fueron y se hicieron como ocho. No, no so they have, a, they have a family now. Oh, I don't like it. So you have been working in the company for seven years. Yes. Wow, yeah. that's a long time. Sí, okay. Wow, I, I'm super happy. I don't know why, but I had the feeling that you were in the company for one or two years or something like that. <laughs> wow, seven ya tengo years. Uh -huh, that's a long time. Wow, de I'm hecho, super happy. De hecho, yo, yo me inscribí, fíjese, algo así de, de Insafor, pero presencial. Íbamos a las instalaciones que están ahí por Torre Futura. ¿En escalón? Más o menos. Ajá, yes. en escalón. Pero... Me incluyeron en un módulo, no recuerdo, pero yo creo que yo ya iba muy, muy avanzado y me sentía bien novato, pero bien novato. Entonces, luego empecé a estudiar por aparte, de, de, de cero. Ya, okay. si, quizás, quizás ellos estaban en nuestro nivel de gente que ya habían cosas que ya la conocían y no sé, nos, nos adaptaron ahí y no, 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 no sentí que les agarré el hilo. <ríe> ok, ok. Pero me alegra que, que ahora sí, uno le está dando seguimiento en. And you think yeah. about, oh, okay. That explains, porque ya tenía un poquito de, de vocabulario. You communicated a little bit. Okay. 
No, I'm super glad porque siento que todo el grupo le está metiendo, you know. And so yeah. then I'm like, wow, module five. Eh, es mucho menos el español que se habla. And, and yeah, I'm super happy. <laughs> I'm super, super happy. De hecho, hablamos esto con mi, con mi jefa que le ha gustado, o sea, la interacción de acá. Y yo le digo, sí, por eso es que nosotros decimos, o sea, que que no nos han cambiado, bueno, ustedes del módulo 1 y que yeah. nos hemos adaptado a su forma de, de, de aprendizaje. Bueno, nosotros al menos hablo por, por yeah, René y, Marvin y, y yo. siento que los presiono. <risa> I feel like pushing yeah. you to speak. Pero todos han reaccionado yeah. súper bien. Everybody's like, ok, quiero hacerlo. I want to do it. I really like it. Y, y en, de forma y virtual es más difícil, you know, because tenemos muchas distracciones, muchos distractores en la casa. But, pero siento que sí, todo se rebuca. So I'm very happy. No, Brian, as kept, I told you before, lo quiero ver graduado nivel 20. Ahí ve a Brian. Primero so, Dios. Yeah, it's God willing. You will make y ojalá it. que se mantenga usted, por, al menos por muchos módulos más. I don't think so. <laughs> no, pero igual cualquier cosa ahí estoy. So, Brian, gracias, gracias por su tiempo. Bien. Thank you so no, much. Gracias, eh, ya lo dejo ir a descansar. <laughs> Have a good night. Sí, Adiós. Bye. -bye. Bye.